Hello and welcome. Seal Rage here with Mech Warrior Online. This is something a little different. Um, it is not a build showcase. This is actual gameplay. You're going to watch uh, one single long game of me playing the Marauder Bounty Hunter 2. Bounty Hunter 2 being the hero Marauder. Um, quickly about the setup I am running. Uh, in this uh, footage you are seeing here, I have modules installed Target and all acquired. of that because I am not recording for build showcases. So I have, if you look at the bottom right for example, I have an AC-20 and a medium laser in one weapon group. Um, I explained that when I did the uh, build showcase video for this particular build, but I'll uh, give a brief explanation on it here as well. So, uh, the acquired. cooldown modules for both medium laser and AC-20 at the same time make there be, what is it, a 0 0.02 second cooldown difference between the two. So it works like this. Like that. Uh, you can fire missile. both and then have them cool off at almost the same time. And since the AC-20 uh, is in a, a high mounted side torso, and the uh, medium laser is high in the mech's head and this is very aggressive positioning by me uh, because I, I like doing aggressive positioning but anyway uh, since those are so high on the mech having them in the same weapon group uh, is kind of nifty because all you have to do is poke your head over something and fire you know and okay uh, if you wanna do this I am willing to uh, trade with you because Oh my gosh, Inner Sphere AC-20 is really, really good at trading. Um, and I love Inner Sphere AC-20, which is why I do brawling setups like this on heavy mechs and whatnot. I mean, sure, it has uh, fallen a little bit out of favor, this kind of like shorter range brawlers and whatnot. But hey, I, I like doing it. And also, Bounty Hunter 2 has jump jets. So you can actually do uh, another... Uh, I'll be a little bit more mobile than without jump jets. New target acquired. Including not taking leg damage by jumping down uh, ledges like I did there. Bounty Hunter 2 has some quirks for the uh, medium lasers, which is why you're seeing the medium laser range increases being as they are kind of crazy, kind of really good. Um, uh, gives it a little bit New extra reach acquired. over uh, uh, like short range missile brawlers. Which is kind of nice. Let's push in with the uh, big boys, king crabs and other things. And there is a dragon slayer around there. I mean, sure, let's let's go poke a dragon slayer. Victors aren't all that scary. Let's uh, let's poke at them. I mean, I'll trade with a victor any day, especially at these ranges with a victor uh, set up like that. Destroyed. Yep, absolutely Incredible dead victor. Critical. Inner Spear AC-20 makes such a short work of uh, stuff and there is the Centurion running away because uh, uh, AC-20 is scary and people are hogging this corner so I can't get back down there where I really want to go and King Crab, please turn off your AMS you are wasting ammo being indoors with the AMS on now, this is an assault game mode uh, so hiding out here doesn't necessarily work as a strategy because the enemy team can go and cap your base. They can just go and do that. Alright? They can just go and do that. So, uh, yeah. But it Target can still destroyed. be beneficial uh, if you are hanging around down here. Because it can uh, allow you uh, easier access to different... You Target know, I mean, it's acquired. kind of a shortcut across the map. If you want to go from one place to another very quickly, uh, this is one way to do it. And I'm trying to uh, avoid these guys from sh shooting me by going around the corner. But nope. Okay, let's uh, let's just walk back down here then. Because uh, don't, not really having support, like one assault mech enemy. And this is one reason why I wanted to show this uh, on this particular match off here. Uh, look at my armor setup already. Already, right? It's kind of early in the game. Four enemies are dead. Three of our friendlies are dead. Now, uh, well, um, 
five of our friendlies are dead and three of the enemies are dead. Uh, read that the opposite way. Anyway, um, I am kind of in Tatars. And this is a good uh, example game to anybody. Um, to, uh, uh, I, and I'm trying to get people to like, okay, we have so many mechs in here. Just just hang tight for a moment. Just hang tight. Let's see if they get... Uh, if they... they uh, um, like, uh, you know... If they get uh, impatient, if they charge us, or if they are going for our base. Hmm? Huh? Right? I mean, they were mostly camping on top. And of course, people are still poking at the doors, which is the wrong thing to do. However, there is, there is the whole impatience thing. Right? Target it came destroyed. in, it died. Right? So, please let more acquired. of them do that. Because if more of them do, do that, psh, that's Target exactly destroyed. how we win the game. Another, another dead mech. Okay, uh... Right, people coming in from this uh, this doorway as well. Okay, I'm gonna uh, move a little bit so I have fighting line on it when they start pushing through. I don't wanna be the first one to get shot at at the moment because I am in pieces. Trying to save my mech a little bit. And uh, folks could move on my team in such a fashion to not be, you know, able to get shot at from all different angles. And there we go. Somebody uh, is poking around and shooting at me even that's fine target acquired that is fine let's be patient there is no reason to get impatient at this point in a game um like stop poking make them come i mean uh, let them be impatient and then you win New right there we go acquired. this is what i call impatience you come in alone. Now, if I only had teammates uh, who are in position to, critical. you know, do this with me, Level and gone. this destroyed. is me tanking, right? Laser Use this pillar to try to cover my uh, side in case somebody. Yep, there we go. Hello. Awesome. And I'm eating overheat here. Uh, but my back is to him and my back armor is in very good condition and then he has to uh, do that to protect his center torso that is fine okay that's too many all right um gonna put a shot in this guy and then hide from him like that and there is the ac20 doing its work one more shot left and you acquired auto cannon ammo there we go and that's what you get when enemies get impatient. There is no reason for you to get impatient. You just let your enemies get impatient. And then you go and win the game. I know, I know what the uh, last mech is and it's not Nova. It is uh, because I never saw the Shadow Cat die. So it has to be the one who is jumping on the walls because everybody wants to jump on those walls and not actually, you know, try to fight it out. This is the point where a uh, team sticks together and uh, hopefully sticks together and hunts it down as one. My AC-20 is out of ammo. Uh, I usually carry just enough ammo to, you know, come to this situation. There we go. There, there it is. Get some of uh, some shots in on it. And there we go. Uh, now... I am happy to be bait, like uh, I have two fairly good condition teammates, I'm happy at this point to be bait, like if I can tank any more damage from it, um, everything I can tank and not die to is, is all just, you know, bonus damage, uh, like damage my team essentially uh, can just do, right? Because every time it, should, uh, it pokes out to shoot one of us, we should be able to shoot back, right? Um, at this point also just uh, hanging out uh, at the very bottom might probably not win us the game because he could just head for our base and start capping so um, and also capping their base is not really an option especially for a mech like mine which is you know I mean I'm down to 25% uh, 
uh, uh, condition. But this is, uh, uh, you know, the whole tank your mech to this point, if at all possible. No reason to die needlessly. But, uh, note that I'm saying no reason to die needlessly. If you are going to die, then die in such a fashion that your it helps your team win. All right, that's what you should be doing. And yes, we will win this game. It just takes a little bit because uh, my team decided to split up. The team decided to just you know split up into places and whatnot. So, um, anyways, uh, I'm gonna go join the uh, the Big Mac on the side. And there we go. Uh, one game. Thank you very, very much for watching. Hopefully that was, uh, well, enjoyable uh, to watch and maybe learned something. T try out this build, if nothing else. This is fun build.